Yo, 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 it's J Dog in the house starting a Wizard of Legend on Nintendo Switch playthrough. Um, I've been playing this game for the last few days. This game is a little hard. I will give it that. It's a little challenging. Um, the developers, I guess they really wanted to give people a good challenge, and this game is it's fun. It's also rage inducing. <laughs> because. You go into these dungeons and you're only limited to so much health. And all these things can happen in a dungeon. All these enemies are rushing you and there's chances you can fall into pits. And you'll see exactly what I'm talking about when I go into this dungeon. Like, they can get some of the cheapest hits in on you. Like, multiple combo hits. And it's just aggravating that you can't break it. It's very aggravating. So, I actually do enjoy this game. So, in level 1 1 of the fire, whatever the hell the fire name thing's name is, this is what I'm talking about right here. This shit right here. You got motherfuckers coming at you left and right, and why do I have the rock thing equipped? That was not my original weapon. Whatever. Whatever, whatever. Let's kill him. Work with it. Alright, so. You got little stores like this in each dungeon. You have to choose wisely because these are relics. You can only have one relic equipped outside of the building, but you can buy as many relics as you'd like inside the dungeon. But he's only got a healing potion, so it's, it's the only health recovery thing besides getting it out of enemies, which is very rare as well. So all of these have different effects to something that you are doing. And I don't have any money to buy any one of them because I only got 19 coins. <laughs> uh, I guess the main goal is t is to unlock all the Arcana, which is the name of the magic spells, using the gems that you have 122 gems. So you have another section in the dungeon. This person that sells you Arcana spells. If you buy one you've already got, it is the enhanced version. It'll replace the version that you got. And the enhanced version, is, of course, is better. And then you've got the other Arcana that you can buy that can be equipped to L and R, which there's two bottom slots empty at the bottom where it says Y, B, X, and A. Those uh, new Arcanas will go into those spots and you can use those, but they will disappear once you leave the dungeon. So I don't have any money to buy anything, so <laughs> I'm just going to keep on. Here comes another enemy battle. Fucking idiots. I hate them. I hate them all. See, just simple crap like that about falling into the lava. Because you were using a tag that spun you. And you can also knock them into lava or into pits or whatever. Jackasses. Um, and here's the other dude that's in the dungeon. I do not typically deal with the, the red logos. These are all cursed items. They give you some other feature, but they decrease another feature. I don't want anything decreased. Nothing. Energy, speed, nothing. I need it all. Because look at this group of morons. <laughs> uh, oh, rocks, rocks, rocks. Normally I'd have a, 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 a surrounding wind slash type of attack as my basic as an arcana. But because I moved it before I stopped playing, excuse me. I moved it before I stopped playing last time. Last time I uh, didn't change it back. I forgot all about it. And now I'm starting a new game with this shit. And all these motherfuckers. There's one aura. I try to get them all together for that wind flurry right there. Because it's such a multiple attack. And all your uh, arcana has cooldown except for your basic arcana. You can use it as much as you like. But everything else has a, a cooldown. Okay. Okay. Falling a lava bunch of pricks. Yeah, so the more I kind of... You... See, look at this. I'm only on the first stage. And already down to... That much health! Oh my god. Worst run in a while. I have never died. On the first one through one. But you see... The difficulty levels. If you're not experienced at the game at all, it's extremely ridiculous. So let me get me back to my um 
my normal weapon that I use all the time, which I prefer, the air spinner. Why? Because it surrounds you. When all those assholes are on at the same time trying to get you, you got something that protects you. All right. And see, now you would buy Arcana that you can equip outside of the uh, dungeons here. Um, I don't see anything I want to buy immediately, but you can buy whatever. As well as you can buy different armors, capes that have different effects, either on your strength, your attack, overall health, blah, 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 blah. I don't know what they all are yet because I'm like I'm just now getting in this game over the last two or three days. <sighs> it's aggravating. And then these the mid boss the bosses of each elemental, they're they're assholes. They have some super cheesy attacks versus the people. So basically the object is to go through the map and hundred percent it so you can find everything you can find, whether it's gold, arcana, hit arcana. So I just go through and I break everything I can see, trying to get more gold. Get rid of all the enemies, just like that. That was easy. That's what I like. And then we got these floating things. And then they, they activated that dynamite, thank God. Ah, oh, they activated. Fall. Nothing. Grouped them together, get them like that. Fuck them up. Alright, yeah, there's a shopkeeper. I don't have nothing, I don't know about no money anyway. But, when you find them, when you find the, the last area, I'll show you when it shows up, but there's an area where you can warp back to him or the other shopkeepers in the dungeon. In level 1-1's dungeon. It's like that in every dungeon, but... You have to find the shopkeepers first. So, as I'm breaking pots, I do not like that motherfucker right there. Or oh, these spear idiots. That's looking at shit. Got rid of him. It's got all big water for it. Got rid of him. See, and I've got this this uh, relic equipped that's supposed to make health orbs drop more frequently. It does and it doesn't. I would love for health, draw, health orbs to drop all the time. Because of how fast they can deplete your energy with their bullshit attacks. Stupid ass spears. Okay, there goes another round of these idiots. Dead. We got two secret motherfuckers. Put them together, blow them away with that. And he's slashing me still somehow. Alright, um 60% so far. Here comes another group of idiots. Cannot stand them wizards. Because it's easy as that. 24 damage. You only have 550 HP. It's all fucking ridiculous. I've seen this game for the first time on Game Grumps, so I was like, you know what? Let's see if it's for the Switch. And it's for the Switch. I was like, fuck. So I'm like, I'll play it. it looks interesting. <laughs> Literally, I know the difficulty of it. But, you know, more and more I play it, I get the hang of it. So I have 148 coins. Now I'm going to the Arcana spot. What do I? I can't afford that. Can't afford nothing. You got. It. I'll be back. So that's the purple shop. That's the one you buy Arcana from. The green shop's the one you buy relics from and uh, healing potions. The red shop varies. See, this is the area in which you fight the boss. You come in here and you press Y. But, if you want to go back to the shops, you have teleport zones for the shop. The green is usually the relic shop, the purple is usually the arcana shop, and the red one is the one that's just varying whatever is going on. They either shove your arcana around or give you some 
bullshit cursed relic that you but will fuck you up. And usually it just fucks you up. I don't like it. Some people prefer it because it either gives you more special attacks and it but it decreases something else in place of that, so it doesn't make anything easier. You get gold, defeating enemies. So now I got 203 gold. So now here's a red shop. See, this asshole wants to sell you cursed relics. Doesn't sell you, you can just grab them. But they all have an ability that affects something else. That being said, I'm 100% at this thing. So usually I go buy a potion, but I'm going to go with um, buying a lightning aspect ability, which does this, which anybody comes to you, they get electrocuted. That's pretty handy for enemies that like to run up on you. Start Y and start this battle. gems and now we can go back and make the well I bought the arcana already so we can make a decision on a relic he only has two relics that are 100 so I'm gonna hold off I could get the potion and restore all my HP but I also have the relic that's supposed to make orbs show up more frequently so I'm not gonna do that usually 1-2 is when I start to get really frustrated because Enemies tend to get harder every time you move up. And um, I didn't hit any treasure chests in the first level. You usually can hit some treasure chests and they have more coins or more gems or even arcana in them or relics. So, and then you get the gem, you get the treasure chests that have the elements on them, which you have to use that particular element to open them. I hate those because sometimes I don't have the elements. I have the best weapon set up for me so far. I'm yawning, excuse me. And, okay, what we got here? These idiots. Knock them off. Knock them out the box, Chris. And, dead. Found the shopkeeper. He has this super carrot cake, supposed to increase your HP with the more damage you take. I'm not sure about the Nurdle Shell yet, I haven't done it yet. Matchstick does something with uh, increasing fire attacks, I think, and Venus Town. One of those, this, I don't know. Anyway, shopkeeper's found. That's a good thing. Let me find him early on. And here is the final room. Found early on. Break it, ice. I can't find gems. Another battle. Now we got these idiots with these damn fucking arrows. Alright, that was pretty easy. Gotta put them in the corners and get them over in the corners. They can't do anything. Constantly be on the move on this game. Keep things from hitting you, they're not supposed to hit you. Trying to save on and hold on to that HP as long as you can, because you get in that final battle, you're gonna need a decent amount of HP. God damn it, I hate this shit. Well I knocked all them off, knocked myself off. Bye. 
Mm-mm-mm. Shit, already halfway through this castle. And of course, there's a group up here. Damn it! I hate when I fall off. It's the worst thing ever. I'm lighting these motherfuckers up. 231 HP left. I'm half gone. Ain't gonna be a good decision to go ahead and buy a potion. I think I will. Cause, no, cause if orbs ain't showing up. God damn it. Out of here, dumbass fucks. Mm, dun, 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 dun. Hey, shopkeeper. Give me that potion. 367. Alright, so we're we'll back to this one. Teleport out. We're supposed to be looking for Arcana. Ugh. Barrels, barrels, barrels. Sick Arcana. I've gotten lucky enough to beat the first elemental boss and move into the second one. Of course, the shit gets harder when you get into the second one. What would help here is a lot of them cooldowns and speed up and recharging. But the more shit you have, the more shit you can have while other cooldowns. <laughs> come together 78% and I'm burping like a motherfucker coca-cola does that here goes another cursed bitch I ain't dealing with you I just break your candlesticks and leave trying to find more coins you're no good all right so where have I not been since 80% of this house is still not unrevealed I went this way already Ugh, there's no mega map on this game. We're gonna just pull up the whole thing and see. You have to pretty much re explore it. See where you have not been. And I've been all over here, so. I'm trying to find my Arcana person. And there's also still more enemies to fight. So we all know it's not that way, not that way, so. Not that way either. Alright, so maybe I need to go down. Hmm. These videos aren't going to be a tad bit longer because I'm going to play them all the way through I die for my untimely deaths. Oh, go, go, no, no, no. You fall into the pits if you have to. I don't care. I don't care. Fall into the pits. Break, break, break. Alright, Arcana person. What do you have for me? You have the ice dagger, exploding fireball, which is. I don't like the idea of that. Now, way front dash. Uh, I gotta hold off because you got two things I want. An exploding fireball is always good. I need more shit to push my markers off with it. Hard hits. In the room. Shocking, rather, isn't it? Hmm. Alright, so 100% is uncovered. Alright, hey, two motherfuckers right here. We're not supposed to have. Whatever, they gave me the other shit that I needed. Okay. Ideas, ideas, ideas. I'll take the exploding fireball. Then I will be in enhancing my shit. Oh no 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 no! I hate the wizard motherfucker. Charge your shit up. Brrr, fuck you. Out of here. 
Oh! Yeah, relic. Alright. So that's a good stopping point. We'll continue next episode.